Mr. Basris has had a, a few complaints, or not complaints, just say a few um, attacks on its windows. And uh, you can see most of them, in fact, all of them, have all been smashed in. And welcome back to a, a new video. So, uh, what a what a weekend it was uh, just gone with the uh, the protests, and then uh, sadly it turned to a little bit of a rioting and there's a few scuffles um, around Blackpool but all in all I think everyone um, the majority of people behaved um, with respect the police respected the uh, protesters and vice versa so I mean that is all uh, that is all behind us um, in regards to the uh, the protests for the uh, for the time being so yeah it's a, it's a new video it's a new day and it's a new week so we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around Blackpool and just see uh, what else is uh, going on today. So uh, yeah, come and join me and uh, let's get going. So we're gonna start the video off um, just between North and uh, the Central Pier. And uh, the reason being is I wanted to bring you uh, a bit of the beach, which uh, I always enjoy doing. Um, it's really nice, you see a lot of people enjoying themselves. Uh, so the weather today is not brilliant. Uh, it's not sunny, it's not cloudy, it's a, a little bit overcast, but uh, with the uh, breaks of sunshine. And there's uh, quite a few things to look forward to. We've got the air show coming up as well. They've got the illuminations. And uh, just near the uh, central pier, we've got the uh, one of the aircraft. So we're going to go and have a, a bit of a look at that one. So it looks like a, a bit of work going on um, with these. See the uh, the crane there. It's like they're, they're doing a bit of a, a bit of electrical work. Uh, it looks like. So I'd imagine they'll be getting them uh, ready um, for the illuminations, um, which will be starting on the 30th of this month. So we're now just near uh, Central Pier, and you see they got a, a few machines with a, uh, a plane as well. And uh, we're going to have a, a bit of a look at them closer. I'm not too sure if you can go in until uh, at the moment it's uh, sort of, uh, cordoned off. So we've just uh, spoke to uh, John. He's going to give us a, a bit of a tour of this exclusive, um, what is going on in Blackpool. So I'll pass you over to John. He can just explain. We'll have a, a bit of a walk around the vehicles. So hi, welcome to uh, the Loom St. Anne Spitfire display team, where... Uh, displaying this week on the Golden Mile near Central Pier um, promoting Blackpool Air Show for this year uh, and on display you'll be able to see um, the World War II Willis Jeep um, we've got the original RAF Airfield Bowser uh, which you'll see just in a minute when he does his filming and obviously we've got the star attraction which is Lucy our Mark 9 Spitfire Brilliant, so we're going to have a, a bit of a look around at these uh, fantastic vehicles uh, so this is an original wartime uh, aircraft refuel, the Bowser. As far as we're aware, this is the only one left on the road in the UK. So these are museum pieces, really. It's fantastic, isn't it? Um, but if you come down to the Spitfire Visitor Centre, we restore all these things there um, and make sure that we're able to bring them out on the road for public display so that's quite a rare beastie in its own right and that would have been used for refueling Spitfires, Lancasters, uh, Hawke Hurricanes and um, would have been a regular site on the airfield at RAF Squires Gate. It's fantastic and it? it's amazing how uh, great condition everything they're in isn't it? So it's uh, absolutely amazing. So in, uh, in here, this is uh, an original Mark 9 Spitfire cockpit. So everything that you can see in here uh, has, has been uh, original parts. They're all working parts. Some of them have actually been dug out of the ground and refurbished. Um, and what we do is reverse engineer them on the, uh, on the aircraft that we've got in the Spitfire Visitor Centre. And then we give people the opportunity to sit in them. Uh, for a small donation of £10, 
and uh, that's what helps us raise the money. Of course, uh, yeah. So at the moment we're trying to raise £150,000 to build a new hangar at Blackpool Airport. So we've got an original wartime hangar and then we're trying to build a new hangar which will have the airworthy aircraft in. Yeah. So at the moment, the, the conditions in the original hangar just aren't conducive with having a, a, an airworthy aircraft in there. Yeah. So if we can raise the hundred and fifty thousand pound, how much have you? All watches are going to come. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, make exactly. A donation this week. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm sure they will. To, come along to the Spitfire <laughs> Visitor Centre on a Saturday, a Monday, or a Tuesday. Brilliant. Um, and they can actually sit in one of these at the hangar. Um, and help us raise the money that we need for the uh, for the project. Fantastic! I'll put everything in the uh, the description as well um, for that um, in regards to whereabouts it is and things. And how much have you raised so far? We're about we're about thirty grand in. Yeah, so it's a uh, hundred and eighty thousand pound target. Yeah, all in. So we've raised thirty. So we're hoping to do really well this week here at Blackpool Air Show. Live them next week. So is really that... we need people through the door. Yeah, uh, we need because we, we do school visits. Um, so primary schools come in on a Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so we do uh, primary school visits, uh, and then we get car clubs and, and things like things that. Things like that. So, yeah. Brilliant. This is pretty much in original, original condition. Uh, again, this will operate, um, uh, operated in Europe during the Second World War. Um, but as you can see, it's had a total nut and bolt restoration on it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, again, we, we need to get her out as often as we can to keep them uh, operationally. Um, it's amazing machines, aren't they? Yeah. I've actually got a Marconogram from the Second World War. Uh, and it says, uh, you know, that it gives you the time and date the seeks by the war. Oh. Uh, the war, it's sent to Admiralty, so. Right, oh, it's a gosh, nice, right. Uh, nice yeah, thing. Nice thing to have. Yeah. yeah. So that was a fantastic exclusive um, tour um, behind there because it's not open um, to the public. So I'm going to put everything in the description um, in regards to uh, to this and uh, more. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to head off from the uh, the promenade, and uh, there's a new Greg's open. Um, I know it's sort of like a, not a big thing, you know, sort of Greg's Cafe. However, it's just open near the uh, the new tram stop or tram station shall I say so I think we're going to head there and just have a look at these uh, possibly several new shops what have opened up today so we'll just have a, a bit of a walk back near uh, North Pier and uh, yeah so it's a really nice of a, a chap called John and uh, the others to, uh, to show you that and uh, be able just to um, be so close and actually sit in there and it was actually mentioned they've got, they've got a simulator a Spitfire simulator um, so you can go in there for an hour, um, get dressed up in all the, uh, the war costumes and uh, things like that. And uh, they got that at the uh, Blackpool Airport, so that's amazing. I'll put that a link in, so I mean, that would be a, a perfect, um, sort of like a birthday present, the anniversary or gift for an occasion. Um, what a, uh, you know, an amazing thing, which I never knew personally that you could do. So it's ages for 15 plus that one and uh, yeah I'll put everything in the uh, description. So I was going to have a bit of a walk up uh, at the size, uh, size, I mean the uh, side, apologies, of the, uh, the new DWP uh, hub. So work is uh, still going on. Um, I mean, you can see they've got the looks like they've got the air conditioning and things um, installed, but there is uh, still a lot of work to be uh, to be carried out. And I think the concern was um, parking for all the uh, all the staff. So it'll be uh, an interesting one to see where, what happens with that. And uh, just look at this one after another, boarded up. Uh, that is a uh, it's sad when the uh, things like that happen oh, you can just see like every that. window has uh, has been boarded up that's the other uh, front of it so it's uh looks like it's completely closed mr bazar is now but yeah all are uh, boarded up right the way round so it's not just like you know a, a couple of windows it's uh 
every window. So we're just now at the train station. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people know, uh, you know, some people don't know who's about to travel to Blackpool. So I'll just uh, grab you this one. So this is the train station, North Shore train station. And now you can get a tram um, straight to wherever you want to go, to Fleetwood, Bisbon, Cleveland. And it's just there. Uh, there's a little tunnel. You go down the tunnel, uh, we'll have a walk down. There's some new shops apparently opened, and you get the tram, more or less right outside uh, the, uh, the station. So let's go and have a, a bit of a look at that one. So this is the, uh, the little tunnel. So uh, you go from the station through this little uh, tunnel here. So we'll have a bit of a walk down. I'd imagine if you're I don't know, sort of six foot six, you might struggle coming the first bit. But anyway, you see there's a bit of a tunnel and you see the uh, the trams there and uh, all these are uh, shops so they said uh, they're opened up so yeah not too sure if they are they are any shops are opened up at the moment so i can't see any it is a greg oh in fact there we go there's greg's this is the first shop what's opened up so there's going to be quite a few these little shops open up which is uh, which is great if you're peckish coming off the uh, the tram or uh, you fancy something for the train journey home um yeah so this is the uh, i'm not too sure i think they said it's opened up today uh, but i uh, i don't want to be uh, commit myself to that but yeah we've even got a little dre a little greg's just near the uh, the fairly new tram stop I think we're going to end the video there so uh, many thanks for watching and uh, i'll put everything in the description in regards to the uh, the air show um but yeah many thanks for watching uh, if you did like this uh, video don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh, and i will try to get back to uh, as many comments as i can so uh, take care and it's uh, it's a bye from me bye bye